Hello, Grace Baptist Church family. I've got a surprise for you. And now I don't have a goatee. First time you've ever seen me without one. Fun times, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I've been thinking about it for a while. Uh, so I thought I'd try something a little different today and uh, hope this works out for me. I haven't done this since, gosh, at least 10 years. First time I've been without my goat in 10 years. That feels a little colder. So anyway, uh, a couple things I want to remind you of this week. I'm standing here next to the Lottie Moon Christmas wreath. You can see here one light bulb is lit each time there's a donation given to reach the goal of dun, 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 $6,500, they will light a bulb. How much does a bulb cost, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that. The answer is each light bulb costs $130. So uh, hopefully by Sunday, we'll have a few more bulbs lit up. As uh, Remember, all these fundings go 100% to the Lottie Moon Christmas offering. Uh, looking forward this week to preaching the Gospel of Luke in Common Ground. This Sunday morning, we're going to have uh, can cantata in the sanctuary there. So that's the normal part of the thing. But we're going to go ahead and preach. I'll preach in the 11 o'clock service. And I'm also going to teach Sunday school this week. And I have really been looking closely at the virgin birth and the importance of that doctrine. It's not a doctrine we should just quickly overlook. You know, one of the things I love about Luke is the fact that Luke, he really highlights and majors on uh, people that would be considered of low significance in the Gospels. And so, you know, he highlights and elevates women, Gentiles, all these different groups that perhaps people in his particular culture might have looked down upon. And so it's interesting that he spends so much time talking about Mary. And, it, and it's important for us to remember that, you know, here's some interesting things we need to think about as we are considering this When Can you imagine being Mary when Gabriel proclaimed to her that she is going to be the one who will carry the Lord? And listen to this. Luke one thirty seven says this. And this is what Gabriel told Mary. Nothing will be impossible with God. You know, here's the thing about this story where a, a, a teenage girl gets pregnant, immaculate conception. That doesn't make sense at all, you know. And maybe this year has been like that. You've been scratching your head at 2020 and saying, man, nothing makes sense in this in this world. But remember, God is always working and moving. God is always on the work and on the move. So be encouraged today. Be encouraged and know that God is still working. Nothing is impossible without God. And we need to try to stop so hard on our own efforts and just really turn to the Lord and rely on prayer. I mean, I, I have been amazed at what God has done, even in my mother-in-law's life and church members' life here who have COVID, like Carol, who's had such a good report here recently. And, you know, I, the only thing that has been different is we have leaned into God in prayer and in belief and, and clinging to Him. And if one thing that this year has taught us in the midst of all the things that doesn't make sense, we should cling to the Lord and with all that we have. We should cling to him and, and know in faith he is where we turn in all times. We should know that from the bottom of our socks to the tops of our head. So I look forward to seeing you guys Sunday morning. Remember, give so that the reef can continue to be lit up. I want to see this whole thing lit up here uh, in the next coming weeks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.